The majority of Transnistria's population live in villages like this one. The ethnic backgrounds here might be complex, but the opinions and the language are very much shared. In Chobrucci's 111 Kotovsky Street, we met Lydia, an 86-year-old grandmother from Ukraine and the Moldovan social worker who cares for her. Lydia is a Soviet war veteran with the medals to prove it. Like all pensioners here, she gets a special supplement from the Kremlin. They call the Patinka. Of course I miss the Soviet times. It was great. We worked, we earned enough money. Today it's a mess. The Kremlin also provides cut-price gas and petrol to Transnistria, which pensioners in Kiev would now eye with envy. We hope Russia will recognize Transnistria's independence. We're being strangled from Moldova and Ukraine. We're causing trouble for us. In the nearby village of Tarnovka, the congregation celebrating an Easter Monday service was made up in equal portions of ethnic Russians, Ukrainians and Moldovans. The church is called Paraskeva, the patron saint of marriages. We met a Bulgarian who teaches art in the local school where lessons are held in both Russian and Moldovan. Children in our school are given free lunches thanks to help from Russia and they fund many other social services. The banks of the Dniester River were filled with people enjoying a holiday barbecue. I joined one family to sound out their opinions. Ukrainians say wherever Russia enters, things get worse, but it's quite the opposite. People here are living much better than in Moldova. There's a pro-Russian website which lists President Putin's achievements in the Kremlin, which is proving very popular here. It says he paid back $400 billion of foreign debt. He hosted the most successful Olympics in history. And oh yes, he took back Crimea. Putin's latest move will also prove popular here. He signed a new law relaxing the requirements needed to get a Russian passport. You just have to be fluent in Russian or live in the former Soviet Union. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Transnistria.